Hey guys, today we're gonna to take a look at pneumatic clamps, and that just means air-driven clamps. And that's what this is. They're surprisingly affordable and really easy to work with, so today we're gonna to do a really cool project with just these. Now, first of all, I wanna show you how this works. It's crazy easy and really affordable. Let me, let me walk you through this. This is $22, this is $10, these are about five bucks, and this is a little less than $10. Okay, this is everything we need to get started with pneumatic clamps, minus an air compressor. Okay, so on this switch, there are five ports. There's a center port here for a connector. These two ports leave open. This is where the ports exhaust, and these two ports are feeds. So A and B, super hard. Now I've installed a couple of these in this. This is a connector for a quarter inch hose, this stuff. I'm gonna do the same over here. I've got one installed here. I'm gonna install one in the back. Now this pneumatic clamp is a dual acting clamp. In other words, you have to put pressure on the back to make it go forward and pressure on the front to make it go back. And that's what this switch does right here. So when I flip it one way, it puts pressure in and relieves pressure on the other side. And when I flip it the other way, it puts pressure in that line and relieves pressure on the back side. So you can run this off of a small uh, pancake compressor. It doesn't take a lot to make this really, really work great. So now after I have the connectors installed, I just take some of my quarter inch hose and I can cut that off. And they push right into these connectors and I'm literally done. I'm ready to plug this in and make this clamp actuate or make this cylinder actuate. Let's do that. So the air compressor's full. I'm gonna go ahead and plug us in here. Now I haven't put any tape on this yet, so there's gonna be a little air leak, but I can fix that with some tape. Now all I have to do is move the switch. First thing we need is some wood. I'm using hard maple for this project, mostly because my buddy Frank left it in my shop. That wasn't a good idea, Frank. Just saying. I cannot wait to have this done. I have all my material milled down to the rough sizes. I just have to cut them to the proper dimensions now and then we can st start assembly. Frank, um, you didn't leave me anything wide enough so I had to do some glue ups. That was kind of rude, man. Just saying.
left to do is sand this out, drill a couple holes, attach the faceplate, put some leather on it, and then we'll be ready to test it out. So, first thing, sanding. My favorite task. Now check this thing out. This is my really cool sandpaper holder that I have free plans and a full build video on my website. Nowhere else, just over there. You can become a free member of my website, download plans like this, watch the build videos there, and I would certainly suggest you go check it out. There's some cool stuff over there. We're adding stuff all the time. Let's we'll start with 120. got a little bit of an air leak I need to take care of but when I get this thing permanently mounted to my bench and I got it I threw this thing together just for a quick bench I need to sturdy it up uh, or maybe even make another bench I will install that permanently and I have some really cool ideas for this how to improve it and make it more useful and I know there's some of you out there that are thinking man you know you're worried about your fingers getting caught in there but the trick is not to put your fingers in it Hey guys, I want to take a minute and say a big thank you to everybody who's already been over to see the new website. It's still a work in progress, but we're getting there. We're getting really close to having it done. So um, if you get a chance, head over there and check it out. Just to let you guys know, anybody who's a Toolmasters member, a pro Toolmasters member, gets all my plans for free, all the SketchUp files that I do, I put up there. And not to mention that you get some discounts on tools from companies like Klingsports, The Woodshop, uh, VPWay.com. In fact, a lot of the products that I use today came from those sites. And that's very, very nice to have. So I want to say thank you to those two companies for jumping on the Toolmasters vendors list. Uh, go check it out if you get a chance. We've got forums, great community, lots of fun stuff happening over there. And hey, if you just want a set of plans, they're over there too. Don't forget, we got some free plans over there like the sandpaper holder. Uh, that's available for free for download, but and there's a build video for it, but that's only available on the website. And I'll be putting stuff like up that a couple times a month, so be sure to check back and check that out. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit that notifications button next to the subscribe so you actually get to see my videos. We'll talk to you all soon with more crazy builds. Ha 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 ha!